Hello there, my name is Lanius and it's the third time I'm recording this video which sucks and as you can see the title of this video is Everything Sucks but it's mainly about software as you may as you may think so yeah and yes I was away again maybe I will I'm not even saying this I don't know if I will be back recording or not but maybe I should explain why I'm a freaking skeleton well I don't have camera I usually use my phone as a camera and also I'm doing a move and I don't really want to set this up and also it really sucks so maybe maybe I will get an actual camera that has some good quality or it will stay like this I will be animated skeleton from now on maybe maybe okay so why skeleton well take a look at my outros and the banner I used it like uh, forever I mean from the beginning of the channel I guess there is this one guy that makes uh, Linux sucks videos every year at least he used to make them not sure if if it's still going on but this is my sucks video but it's more general I would say maybe a little more in the direction of Windows sucks but but let's let's just continue so software software in general quite quite sucks Linux sucks which I already discussed like previously why I did switch from Linux to Windows yeah it's mainly support from appli for applications for hardware and that kind of stuff it's a little iffy and it just got me fr uh, frustrated so but about software sucking uh, last year or maybe or maybe it's an, an older thing uh, Jonathan Blow have made a presentation something like that um, where he where he talks about software being in decline you know at first you might think that it's another like oh programmers are doomed or whatever but it's not about that it's about software just getting worse getting more buggy getting slower even though computers get faster and that's actually true and it is widely accepted it's one of the examples that really uh, stuck with me was the gmail email editor with uh, when you copy text formatted text from somewhere into the editor it basically takes that formatting and your whole email is like messed up and you can't really do anything other than uh, I don't know if you can really paste without formatting in, in, in the browser maybe you can but because I, I'm, not, I'm not using Gmail so that's that but that's one of the things that we just know that it is there it is this basically stand, standard email uh, service and it has this shitty thing it's not a feature it's definitely a bug or some uh, you know user experience uh, problem but it's there nothing does anything with it and we just ah, whatever mm. but that's not really the point of this video as I mentioned it's more about how Windows sucks so I already already said that my switch was to make sure that hardware just works there is there are no problems 
and there are no, no problems. Hardware works, it's okay, but close to 100% of my workflow, especially professional workflow, is based on WSL. And I used to use some graphical applications from WSL, like Emacs, like I mean, the other ones are not really that important. Maybe Kitty, because, you know, Terminal Emulator, it's basically mm, close to the main pool for me, at least. I mean, now it is basically the main tool and it's not Kitty, but uh, I will get to that. So I was using it. I was even kind of amazed how well it worked, how well the WSL windows were just working with uh, with the window management in Windows, unless they were Wayland windows, which I had to change in Kitty. But that's not that. But that's not no, not the the subject for now. I believe I might have already talked about this, but that's a tangent again. So yeah. It was all nice and dandy, then one day, for no reason, supposedly for no reason, it just stopped working completely. I mean, I was able to start the WSL well, but I wasn't able to start Emacs, I wasn't able to start Kitty, and that was a massive problem. What was the issue? At first I was looking around what could be happening. I found out that sometimes, sometimes, for whatever reason, a simlink that makes the X11 and I guess Wayland work in WSL, sometimes just breaks. At first I thought that's the, that, that the problem is that I am using Arch as a WSL distribution, which is non-standard, so I guess I guessed it might be the problem. So I've installed Ubuntu, I've installed Debian, I, I tried all these distros in WSL, every single one of them had the same problem. So, after that, I figured, okay, I will just remake the Simlink uh, manually, maybe I will make some script or whatever. So, I've done it. Still no luck. Kitty was uh, literally dying with segmentation fault. So, something was really wrong. Then I thought, of course, it must be NVIDIA. NVIDIA drivers came back to haunt me again, so I've installed the NVIDIA experience thing, I've updated the drivers, restarted the computer, and guess what? Nothing happened, nothing was fixed. So I was in a kind of, you know, hmm, hard spot. So I was looking around again what the hell is the problem and honestly i didn't really figure it out at that point i've just uh, started you know windows terminal wsl and just used emacs in the terminal which wasn't perfect especially because of windows terminal itself but yeah so later I was, uh, I was still, you know, messing around with it, losing my mind, and I've decided, okay, let's do it. Let's install native Windows version of Emacs, and oh boy, it was an adventure because Emacs, at least. Doom Emacs uses quite a few tools, external tools, 
to work, like to some some text searching, file searching, and whatever. And mainly it's rip grab and FD. But yeah, they have Windows versions, but Windows is Windows. It works a little different, escapes some symbols differently, and some Doom Emacs modules or just Emacs modules didn't work. So that was one issue, which I finally like worked around just using different functions that don't ever down basically the same thing than the ones that stopped working. The package that stopped working was consult, but there were some other functions for that. So that one thing sorted out, but another one have appeared that LSP doesn't like that my projects are inside of WSL. So I figured, okay, I will move the projects to, to NTFS drive, okay? And guess what? These projects need to run in Docker for my testing. And it was so slow when they were on NTFS. Another thing, because the uh, file permissions differences between NTFS and uh, EXT4, most of the files I've copied, even fresh repositories that I, I cloned and were created on Linux, had some uh, false positive changes in them. Because NTFS just don't support some some levels, let's say, of file permissions. Like I think the the, the uh, executable permission is the one that is missing in NTFS, and it just went nuts. So then I figured that I can mount a drive from uh, from WSL because the problem that LSP had is that CMD EXC doesn't support paths to network drives and uh, WSL drive is treated as a network drive and CMD is kind of a shell of Windows so the LSP server command was run by CMD which couldn't understand the file path and yeah, after mounting this network drive for a moment, LSP was kind of working. It seemed that it was working, but then, but then it stopped working again. Why? I don't know. And I just abandoned the idea altogether. At one point, I just gave up and decided, okay. I'm just uh, setting up VS Code and I spent one day, literally the first day of January this year, setting up VS Code to then, day after, use it for like 30 minutes and then just switch back to using Emacs in the console. And by the way, about the terminal emulator, so... So about the terminal emulator. Of course, Windows terminal was a no-go. Oh, something weird happens. Nice. Oh yeah, because again, for some reason, this screen is getting wild because probably the thing I will explain to you in a little moment. So, uh, I, was, I wasn't really considering using a Windows terminal because it has too many weird key bindings you cannot disable that just eat your key bindings that I wanted to use inside of like Emacs or some other uh, programs in the actual terminal right so I went to Alacrity because it has a native Windows version because I wanted something that is that is native on Windows because you know 
graphical applications from WSL not working, right? So I tried Alacrity. It was shit. Not surprised because I don't like Alacrity. I didn't like it on Linux. I don't like it on Windows. It just looks off to me. I know many of you really like Alacrity, but it's not for me. I don't like it. I didn't really want to use it. So I've tried Western and Western is perfect. It works just like T, which means it works great. There are literally no problems with that. Also, uh, as you can see, I use the Tmax here. And that's how I work now. Because graphical applications don't work. Or do they? Ta-da! This is a graphical window of Emacs. WSL Emacs, as you can see by the uh, by the frame. So I figured what the problem was, at least to some extent. The problem was that the graphical drivers were not up to date. But wait a moment, didn't I just moment ago said that I've updated NVIDIA drivers? Yes, but this computer also has integrated Intel graphics and the driver was out of date. And this somehow made WSL kernel not work with it. And of course I discovered it after I've already had all these weird problems, all this, I had tried all this solution that didn't work for me. And then I figured what was the problem. But it is not like it now just works, because now it works most of the time, but sometimes it still doesn't work. Why? How do I know? So I'm not really relying on using graphical applications from WSL anymore. Also, let me show you how I fixed my issue. So here in the Emacs configuration, when the Emacs daemon starts, it checks if it's WSL. And if yes, it removes the X11 Unix symlink and recreates it. And it's not really uh, to make uh, graphical applications work because I'm not going to, to use them, to rely on them, but I need this symlink to work so that clipboard works in uh, like the, the WSL applications, like also the Emacs uh, console version or terminal version of Emacs. And also, by the way, I've set up the uh, browser in WSL Emacs to be actual Windows browser. It's, it's this code here. Yeah, this is small. Okay, so that's that. And yeah, it seems that the driver issue is here again. Although the WSL graphical things work, because when I fixed the driver, this wallpaper was the right size, and now it's not again. So I guess I need to update again. And yeah, that's another thing. What do you do? Update your drivers, let's say in Linux. You just run your update command, or the update is just run in the background if you use something like Ubuntu or something with GNOME in 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 general. And what do you do when you want to update your drivers in Windows? It should update on it by itself. Windows updates automatically. 
which you some of you might not like but i think it's quite fine but it doesn't update everything because it doesn't update nvidia drivers you have to update them yourself it doesn't update intel graphical drivers you have to update it by yourself also sometimes some vendor application just pops up like hp smart or whatever and shows you that you can update something else or you have to go to some other like vendor application take a look that oh there is a driver update i must click here to update it i mean most of the time you don't really need to have all these really really up-to-date drivers all the time but it seems that sometimes you need and it's better to just have it in one place i guess but it is like a general problem in windows that you don't really have like unified package manager so you just go around install things from microsoft store from the internet i mean i use uh, the chocolate or whatever pronounce it to uh, install programs but i also have many programs that were not installed by chocolate and yeah so i think that's all about things that suck in windows and in general everything sucks this video probably sucks in this channel maybe tell me in the comments so thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye bye imagine i'm waving